Oh. Well, that's neat. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. My name is Endub, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Once again, we have found ourselves back at Leong Drui's Discount Empire. And we shall now purchase this beautiful Crate Mark II and absolutely customize it. Now, of course, the question is what to name it. I have not decided yet. I did pull the cannons and the what was it again? The frame shift drive, actually, because that's the thing about a uh, crate and an asp. They share the same frame shift drive. So right off the bat, we're increasing our frame shift jump range. And just to see, they do have 5A frame FSDs. Hmm. We have 32 million remaining to play around with. Well, I will transfer this back. Transfer the ship, transfer that. And now, swap to the 5A for this ship. No stock there, 7D there. Let's see if they've got a 7D reactor core. They do. That's good. They do have reinforced alloys. I cannot afford, no, 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 never mind. I can't afford, really can't afford that. Already changed that out. Let's see, no, no, tr no good choices there. No stock there. Throw a chaff launcher. Ah, wrong button. And a heat sink launcher there. And there we go. Optional and internal. Let's, let's see what the options are first on shields. Only up to class three. So we are not going to swap that out. We're going to get rid of the super cruiser assist, but we are going to get a. Which one is it? Surface scanner, detailed surface scanner. There we go. Now, see, a little bird told me that uh, detailed surface scanners. What is important? What is required in order to actually? scan planets. Well, actually to uh, get the data. Let's see, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I already have that, actually. Uh, I should get a fuel scoop. Oh, max is three, so we're going to get a level, a 3A fuel scoop for the trip back. Because I don't know where my class 4 fuel scoop is. And they have a crap collection selection for cargo racks here, apparently. Now, here's the thing. I do have a few paint jobs lying in wait because I purchased those ages ago. 
Actually, this one was given away for free, if I remember correctly. But we're going to go with Shadow Squadron. Blue weapon details. And blue engine details. Let's see. Greetings, Commander. Nope. Eden. And for our decals. We have quite a few available now. We're going to go with Surveyor for the center. And where's my onion head? There's my onion head. Onion head and onion head. Now, I have not quite determined what I'm going to name this uh, ship yet. Okay, I do know what the idea is going to be. And... There we go. And now for our hard points, we are going to use. Let's just see if they have cannons. They have multi cannons. They have pulse lasers. They have beam lasers. They have plasma accelerators. And they do not have just plain cannons. So we are going to get. We are going to get three E pulse lasers gimbaled. I was hoping they had class 3 cannons, but it seems they don't here. Not here, anyway. And so this. And sell this, because I'm going to load the cannons on. Because N-Dub loves his cannons. I was hoping they had class 3 cannons here, but that would have been apparently not the case. Just triple cannon fire. So much fun. Thank you. Fire groups. Cannons go into secondary, lasers are primary, data link scanner, and this will be the third, will be the detailed surface scanner. Now let's go find a planet that needs to be mapped, shall we? Wait, one quick look at the ARC store? And 
Nope, the Halloween stuff still is not in. Unfortunately. So... Where shall I go next? Let's check influence. Bernard Star is 40.5, so we're going to go to Bernard Star today. Back to Bernard Star, anyway. And we have a couple of stops along the way. Nothing in the hold to attract pirates right now, but uh, that's never a guarantee, and you know as well as I do. I just realized, I don't have my to-do list shown. So, we have scratched off one more thing on, our, on my to-do list. And we're going to scratch one more off before the end of today's episode. And then I am going to attempt to improve my Hutton Orbital trip time. But I will absolutely and totally do that off camera. Because you guys don't need to see that again. I do love the side windows on this ship. I mean, it has a distinct mix of... What's the word I'm looking for? A mix of Lacorn and... Oh, who's the other manufacturer? I can't remember off the top of my head. Falcon de Lacy. It seems to have a mix of Lacon and Falcon de Lacy elements to the cockpit design. Which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And here we go, our first planet to scan. I mean system to scan. And of course, just three stars. So, let's see what our next system will have. Let's see, LFT215, Red Dwarf Main Star. And my jump distances aren't too bad, actually, with this 5A FSD. Although I will have to move, I will have to have the ASP shipped over <laughs> piecemeal because the FSD is sitting in a crate. Oh, come on! Give me some planets. Give me some planets. T Garden Star, that's a system everyone gets, I think. And I know exactly what I'm going to name this uh, episode. A great crate, mate. This is going to be interesting to find out just how well, how to ser how to map a star. Not a star, not a system, a planet. There we go. Okay, eight bodies in a system I don't have, that I don't have. Let's see, there's one planet. There's another. There's another. And there's another. Three more. All icy bodies. But I don't need anything too complex to learn how to actually map a planet. 
Okay, so we got that done. I'm going to pick the closest planet. Right there. Okay, out of range. And when it says in range, gonna drop to zero and check this out. It's, it's honestly surprising that I have not actually tried out this part of the of the game yet, to be honest. So I have no idea what I'm actually about to get myself into. Now I do know there are bonuses if you scan within a, I mean if you map a planet within a certain amount of probes, but I don't, I literally know jack squattery about this. Okay, still out of range, still out of range. Still out of range. Okay. Too fast. So I am in range. Okay. Okay. So what's this? This is the thing. Okay. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Oh. Well, that's neat. Okay. Shiny. Okay. That's neat. Okay, I think I'm getting a hold of getting the hang of this. Now that's probably gonna miss. But I don't know, it might not. Oh, that's a, that's an impact. Okay. Okay, so I have infinite probes. Okay, I went over on that. So my efficiency goal is six probes. I've launched five so far. No, wait, six, actually. Okay. What happened there? Oh. 
Oh, I know what exact. I know what happened. I get what happened now. I was facing one side. Yup, okay. So that's probably gonna miss. Yup, yup, I figured it out. Now I get it. These are kind of neat, though. That was an extraneous probe then. Okay, let's map another star then. Actually, no, we'll continue on our way. Oh, our next jump is Bernard's star. And then we will uh, scan another planet. Maybe this time I'll hit my efficiency goal. However, I know what I'm doing now. Maybe. Who knows? We shall see on this one. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't be able to sell this data in Bernard's Star. Two planets here. Yes, there they are. Let's just pop right between the two of them. And should be able to scan soon enough.
That's neat. Almost. Right about there, I think. I think that'll put it right where I want it. Haha! Yes! And I got an efficiency bonus. Shiny. I'd say I learned this one in two. Now let's go see what uh, we have available for work in Bernard Star. Actually, I take that back. We're pretty much done for this episode. So, all that's left on this sheet of my to-do list is to deal with Phil. Sorry, Phil. And to earn a Hutton Orbital decal. Although I think that one is definitely going to be a holdover onto the next sheet. So, gonna pull into port in Huh. That's weird. I've lost data, it seems. Well, whatever. Going to Miller Depot. Ah, damn it. Stupid orrery. There we go. Well, that was an interesting visual glitch. I have no idea what happened there. I have no reason to want to know, so I'm just gonna head on into Miller Depot and uh, rack out for the night. Let's say hello to that fellow commander. of a late response. To Kyan. But yes, I have uh, figured out what I'm going to name this episode as well. Great crate, mate. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm going to keep this ship for a while. It's uh, certainly no python, but it makes for a great workforce. And no, we're not having a victory lap today. Hmm, nice engine growl. <laughs> yes, very nice. I thought I'd submitted within range, but I will. Uh, 
Let's see, I'll pull the... I'll worry about rejiggering it at a later time. It's late enough as it is tonight. Requested docking. I know I freaking requested docking. What the hell? Everyone saw me do that, right? Right? Tell me I'm not going crazy. I requested docking that definitely within. Maybe I'm sleeping. Maybe I'm sleep deprived. That might be it. Fine, pay the fines. Whatever. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and join me in my eternal crusade against YouTube and its uh, sorting algorithms. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.